Good morning, ESM. I'm Luke. I'm Chris. And today we'll be discussing the inner workings of stocks. Hey, hey, yeah. hey, 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 hey. What the heck's going on here? Are you really anchoring with somebody else right now? Are you serious? We were on a break. Yeah. You know, <laughs> you know, what do you mean on a break? You know, no, no, no. Can we, can we get go to news, please? Yeah. I think you're overreacting. Five more people are pronounced dead and 200 more have been infected with the coronavirus in Italy. 409 new cases have been confirmed by Chinese authorities on Monday. Now, the total number of confirmed cases is 77,150. Italy has taken a massive hit by the coronavirus with five deaths and a total of 219 new cases. More than 30 countries have been affected and the global num number of deaths has risen to over 2,000. There is a growing concern that the coronavirus will turn into a pandemic spreading throughout the world. President Trump said in a statement that the coronavirus will go away this spring as warm weather moves through the nor northern hemisphere. For now, China and many other countries throughout the world are preparing for the worst. The conviction in the landmark trial against Harvey Weinstein has a, quote, huge win for survivors of sexual violence and showed progress in the Me Too movement. Weinstein, who was 67, was convicted Monday of the third-degree rape of Jessica Mann, former aspiring actress, as well as a count of criminal sexual act in the first degree against Mimi Halley, a former Project Runway production assistant. The jury found him guilty on two counts of predatory sexual assault, which carried a sentence of up to life in prison. He was also acquitted on account of first degree rape. He now faces a sentence of five to 25 years on the top count. More than 80 women have accused Weinstein of, several of sexual misconduct or assault. Manhattan District Attorney Cyrus Vance Jr., who did not pursue sexual assault charges against Weinstein in 2015, said the verdict showed progress in the criminal justice system for victims of sexual abuse. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. And to the republic for which it stands. One nation under God. Indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Seniors, the Senior Variety Show will be meeting after school today. Yogi's EVSM is excited to announce their return to the library this Thursday at 3.30. Work off those winter blues and boost your energy and self-confidence with the brand new Vinyasa Flow. Wear comfortable clothes and bring a friend. All right, Luke, listen. I know we were on a break, but that doesn't mean that you can just go around anchoring with other random people. Listen, John, do you even know what taking a break means? Yes, Luke. I've taken multiple breaks from relationships. Well, I meant the joke from friends, but you don't watch the show, and I don't watch the show either, so it doesn't matter. What? You, you know what? Regardless of us being on a break or anything like that, you can't just go around anchoring with other people. But John, your last show was all about finding a replacement for me and anchoring with other people and making fun of my height, so, yeah. I have an idea. I think we need a partner's mediating, like counseling, yeah. Today will be filled with rain showers and will stay relatively warmer with a high of 41 and a low of 34. Wednesday will have a high of 45 and a 60% chance of rain for the whole day. Thursday will have some scattered snow showers with a high of 35 and a low of 20. Friday will have some lake effect snow with a high of 25. Saturday and Sunday will have a high of 24 with more snow throughout the day. Sunday will continue to be cold with a 10% chance of snow and a high of 25 with a low of 8. I'm Amber with your weather. Um, so, how do we do partners mediating? We just go to the dude and talk about our relationship problems. What, what dude? Who's, who's the dude? Toby, of course. Yeah. Hello, I'm Toby. Uh, I'm famed uh, anchor myself, and I'm here to fix your toxic relationship. Why, thank you, Toby. I appreciate you trying to help us out. Of course. Now, Luke, I'd like you to start today. It's uh, just that he uh, calls me names all the time, and uh, he doesn't recognize that I do most of the work. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And that's okay. really it. Now, now John? Well, Toby, I just feel like all I try to do is help Luke out and like show him the way to success, you know? I don't think he understands how hard it is to take care of him and still be this amazing at everything I do. See, this is what I mean, so Hey, watch your mouth. What's mean? 
It means that you're super annoyingly overconfident and is basically the definition of you. Oh, Thank okay, you. yeah, yeah, that's true. I, I, yeah. Well, uh, my official diagnosis is that you two need to communicate and stop acting like little babies. Fair enough. Just go to sports. I've done my job. Oregon Sabrina Unescu makes NCAA history against Stanford last night. She becomes the first college basketball player to collect 2,000 points, 1,000 rebounds, and 1,000 assists in a career. She also recorded her 26th career triple-double against Stanford. Bradley Beal is the first player since Kobe Bryant to score 50 on back-to-back -back nights. Beal had his career high with 55 points last night. He previously set his career high in points the game before with 53. With these back-to-back 50-point -back performances, Beal is now averaging 30.1 points in a game this season. In upcoming games, the girls and boys track teams have a meet tonight at 4.30, and the boys basketball team plays home tonight against New Hartford at 7 for their sectional playoff game. Tonight's theme is a whiteout. Good luck to the Spartans. I'm Lena with sports. Well, that was dramatic. And a waste of time, but I mean, I guess I'm kind of sorry. I'm, yeah. uh, I'm, I'll get there. I'm sorry. E, uh, too, Luke. All right. Um, I'll try not to make fun of how short you are from now on. Yeah, sure you will. Well, for me. Oh, and myself. And everyone here at the show, have a great day.